Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will take you through questions on steady laminar flow in circular pipes and fluid mechanics too. Let's begin with this question. Oil of relative density of 0.83 and dynamic viscosity of 0.08 kg per meter second passes through a circular pipe of 12 mm diameter with a mean velocity of 2.3 m per second. Determine A. Reynolds number B. Maximum velocity C. The volumetric flow rate D. A pressure gradient along the pipe Solution Reynolds number is equal to rho multiplied by u multiplied by l divided by mu. Where rho is the density of the fluid, u is the velocity of the fluid, l is the characteristic length and mu is the dynamic viscosity. Finding unknown variables. Density rho is equal to relative density multiplied by 1000 which gives us 830 kg per cubic meter. Velocity is given as 2.3 meters per second. Characteristic length L will be 0.012 meters. And dynamic viscosity, mu, is given as 0.08 kilograms per meter second. Thus Reynolds number is equal to 286.35. B. Maximum velocity. Mean velocity U bar is equal to half maximum velocity U max. Thus U max is 2 times U bar which gives us 4.6 meters per second. C. A volumetric flow rate Q. Volumetric flow rate Q is equal to area multiplied by mean velocity. Thus we get 2.601 times 10 power minus 4 cubic meters per second. D. A pressure gradient along the pipe. Using Hagen, Poiseuille equation Q is equal to change in P multiplied by pi D to power 4 divided by 128 mu multiplied by L. Where P is the pressure in the pipe, D is the diameter of the pipe, mu is the dynamic viscosity and L is the length of the pipe. Thus pressure gradient is equal to 40,885.14 newton per meter. Here is a second question. Glycerin of viscosity 0.9 newton second per square meter and density 1260 kilogram per cubic meter is pumped along a horizontal pipe 6.5 meters long of diameter D equals 0.01 meters at a flow rate of Q equals 1.8 liters per minute. Determine the flow Reynolds number and verify whether the flow is laminar or turbulent. Calculate the pressure loss in the pipe due to frictional effects and calculate the maximum flow rate for laminar flow conditions to prevail. Solution Determining the flow Reynolds number and verifying the flow, laminar or turbulent. Reynolds number is equal to rho multiplied by u multiplied by l divided by mu. Where rho is the density of the fluid, u is the velocity of the fluid, l is the characteristic length and mu is the dynamic viscosity. Finding unknown variables. Density, rho is given as 1260 kg per cubic meter. Characteristic length L is given as 0.01 meter. Dynamic viscosity, mu, is given as 0.9 newton second per square meter. Velocity is equal to volumetric flow rate divided by area. Convert Q from liters per minute to cubic meter per second. We get 3 times 10 power minus 5 cubic meter per second. Area is equal to 7.8539 times 10 power minus 5 square meters. Substituting our values we get velocity to be 0.382 meter per second. Thus Reynolds number is equal to 5.35. 5.35 is less than 2000 thus laminar. Calculating the pressure loss, from Hagen, Poiseuille, we get 715 times 10 to power 3 pascals. Calculating the maximum flow rate. The upper limit of laminar flow is reached when Reynolds number over critical Reynolds number is equal to flow rate over critical flow rate. Substituting the respective values. We get 672 liters per minute. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I am Engineer Mayday, when you need help Mayday is the call. You have been an interactive learner.
Thank you.